Hey everybody, Chief Meteorologist Brad Penovich here with your midday winter storm update. The good news, bad news scenario, we've seen more snow and sleet in many areas and less freezing rain. Now that's great for power lines and for tree damage. It's not so good for the roads. The roads are horrendous out there. Uh, the increased sleet and snow packing on those road surfaces, making for some rough conditions out there. But I do think we could see more of a transition here in the next couple of hours to freezing rain. And what you're looking at here is the overall storm. And by the way, big severe weather outbreak ongoing with the southern part of this storm in, in Florida, just horrible tornadoes down there. But you can see across our area, this is a, an app called MPing that people can report what they're seeing. And so I'm getting a lot of IP, which is um, basically ice pellets. So I'm plotting those on the map. And I can tell you just looking at this, you could see where the, the, the amount of sleet, sleet and ice pellets are the same thing, by the way. A lot of sleet in here, a lot of freezing rain in here. In fact, just got a report quarter inch in Monroe of ice, about a quarter inch out in Rockingham. That seems to be the hot spot. But what's happening is we've got this warm conveyor of air in the mid-levels coming in right now. So this is the, the warmest air aloft coming in. The upper low back here is going to track over us tonight, and we might see a return to snow. In fact, look at all the snow reports coming around Atlanta. So they're getting quite a bit of snow under the upper low, and that's going to cross right over us later this evening. So let me show you the, uh, the water vapor loop because I think this is really telling. I'll turn off the radar here and we'll turn off those MPing reports just so we can see everything a little bit better. Um, you can see the upper low right here, maybe between Montgomery and Alabama and Atlanta, Georgia. Dry slot here. The dry slot is mid-level dry air. This will move through probably closer to 5 o'clock, maybe I'm thinking 4 or 5 o'clock. That will shut off the heavy precipitation. We'll get more mist, drizzle, light sleet, freezing rain, um, but that's something to watch. In fact, ooh, there was a lightning strike. Uh, we've got some thunder sleet, it looks like, around the Asheville area. So that's uh, that's pretty cool. Um, so the upper low is creating some lightning. Uh, looks like how many strikes we have there. Let me look real quick. Two. Yeah, it looks like a couple lightning strikes just between Waynesville and Asheville. So yeah, we are getting some thunder sleet with this system as it moves through. So one of the things you look at is the atmospheric sounding. This Without getting into detail, this is a forecasted profile of the atmosphere. The ground is at the bottom, 16,000 feet is at the top. We'll go through time, and you see the ice pellets. Uh, but look at this warm nose. This is the freezing line right here, this blue line. So this thing looks like a nose. Um, if you ever heard that term, it looks like a profile of a nose like this. If this was the eyeball, and this is your mouth down here, it looks like a nose. That's why it gets the name warm nose. So look how thick that is. Turns to freezing rain. Looks like around 1 o'clock for the Charlotte area. And also notice over here that layer of warm air where temperatures are above freezing. So this is in Celsius. Um, you see the freezing rain, 2, 3, 4. And then changes back to snow this evening as the sounding is all to the left of the freezing line. So we would likely see a burst of snow at the very tail end of this. And that snow shower activity could last into tonight. And then it tapers off. So don't be surprised if we see a return to some snowfall. So let's get to the future cast. All right, here we go. We're getting the uh, sleet and freezing rain to pick up. And by the way, at the same time, wind. The wind is really going to be howling here. I'm just looking over here as we're getting a, a mesoscale discussion from the Storm Prediction Center. Basically, um, we're seeing heavy snowfall of one inch per hour and heavy sleet fall and freezing rain changing over in parts of, of North Carolina. So this area is getting clobbered. This is the future cast. We'll show you through time. This is probably the worst freezing rain. Look at the time up here between 1 p.m. and about 4 p.m. If we're going to see freezing rain, that'll be the heaviest. Moves through, and then the upper level low moves through. And look at this back here. This is likely going to be a burst of snow coming through with the upper level system. I know it doesn't show a lot here, but I actually think there will be quite a bit of snow shower activity here um, right around, you know, 7, 8, 9, 10 o'clock tonight. And if you put a little fluffy snow on top of the ice we've seen, that's going to make for a mess. So I'll loop this a couple of times. This is the next 18 hours um, through the Charlotte area and the Western Carolinas, including South Carolina. Still impressed with the lightning strikes there. That was pretty cool. So that's a quick look at what's happening in the future. Let's go back to what's happening right now. That's the current radar. You can see the, the icy mess over us. Let me turn on the surface features here. We'll show that. And I'm also going to show the frontal system. So a lot of sleep coming down right now. Ooh, starting to get some freezing rain reports, though. 
showing up in Union County. So it does look like we're getting some freezing rain reports. So I'll keep an eye on this. We'll post updates throughout the afternoon. My word of caution to you is stay indoors. Uh, I mean, stay off the roads. You don't have to stay indoors. Go outside, but just be careful. Um, even my daughter, she's like, let's go play in the snow. She walks outside and goes, Whoop, slipped right and fell. So just be careful. That looks like snow in many cases, but it is an icy mess and it is easy to fall on.